Periodontal disease is, you know, one of the most common diseases in, in, in the world. Mm -hmm. It's the primary cause for tooth loss. Mm -hmm. You know, 70% of all teeth lost is through gum disease. Um, it's a preventable disease in 90% or 95% of the population. Unfortunately, only about 50% of the UK population seek the help of a dentist and probably less than that seek the, the help of a dental hygienist afterwards. It's mainly done by the dentist within an NHS practice, whereas here we always refer on to the dental hygienist so we can always kind of do the best quality and the highest quality of treatment for the patients. Um, I mean, I treat cases from the most simple, which is just the treatment of um, mild bleeding. Bit when you brush in, you spit out a bit of blood when you cut, when you brush your teeth in the morning, you come in, have your teeth just generally cleaned, um, polished up, remove any stain, and most people will find, with a bit of advice, flossing advice, brushing advice, they'll find that that'll go away. In some people though, you need to go one step further and start to look at cleaning deeper into the, into the sockets or the pockets of around teeth. And once you do that, most people's gum disease, again, can be treated fairly simply, usually with a little bit of um, local anaesthetic if you need to do just to make the whole procedure comfortable. Um, but the reality is, that in the most advanced cases, then we can still do a lot of things for patients. The first thing we can do is we can use conventional, peri what's called per conventional periodontal therapy, which is removing all of the toxins, removing all of the kind of the causative factors. Then we move into using lasers, and that would um, kill off a lot of the bacteria, which is the, the primary cause, or the biofilm, which is the primary cause of the disease. And then if people's teeth haven't firmed up, which they usually firm up without the need of a splint, then we can place splints across the back of, of, of teeth. And what you get is when you get one or two teeth splinted together, if you've got several of the teeth which are firmer, you get this strength in unity. And a lot of people will say to you then that it changes them because they can then eat. Because pre previous to that, if you've got several mobile or loose teeth, just eating or biting into an apple, a bacon sandwich, so, you know, even the most simple mundane things becomes a, a task to do, to eat. But once you've splinted them or once we've firmed them up by getting, regaining health of the teeth, then, you know, people find that it does change the life.